So the rooms allow mums and dads and partners all to be together um, to support one another. Um, partners and, and mums are often in the maternity ward and the babies may be down in the neonatal unit and they go and visit each day. But because we are um, having the transitional care babies, it means that the families can be kept together and we come here to accommodate and support them rather than being separated. As a midwife, I work in the maternity ward, I think everybody's keen to keep families together for bonding and it just provides that nurturing environment. This unit is going to accommodate babies from 35 weeks gestation. They have to be a certain birth weight as well. Um, normally those babies with low birth weights and uh, an early gestation will go to the neonatal unit. We'll also have babies who are maybe jaundiced and need phototherapy um, and just need an extra little bit of TLC and a little bit of care and we can accommodate them in here. Any part of baby care, babies with you, you are supported to do these things like the first nappy change, the first bath. These are sometimes things that mums and partners and families miss out on when they're, you know, because sometimes it can happen at different times and mum, mum's just not oh, there just yeah. for other reasons. <clears throat> so we're just thinking, you know, we're empowering mums to have that first time doing everything. Mm -hmm. They're here for everything and mm -hmm. it's... It's a, it's a marvellous it's change. A massive change. And as a partner uh, being involved in the care as well is really important. Well, the lady she's next amazing. door, yes, we'll go and meet her shortly. <laughs> um, she's so excited. She has been in the hospital with us antenatally. She had a few um, issues antenatally and she um, delivered her baby and now has become her very first transitional baby to be using these rooms. She's the um, perfect candidate. She's the perfect, she's the perfect candidate. She's so excited. She so is so excited. She, she will probably tell you herself. She has been appraising everything that's happened. Mm. She can't believe so, she's, well, she'll tell yourself, she says she can't believe her luck. One of but, her um, first questions to the midwife that was looking <clears> after her was, I know I'm delivering early, but how long will I have to spend away from the baby? And that genuinely mm -hmm. was one of her questions. Mm -hmm. And our midwife was able to say, well, actually, <laughs> we've got this new set up and it's just started. And this is actually, our baby was born on the 4th and now we're on the 5th, but it's just started today. And she was absolutely overjoyed that her, her, they have never been separated. And All the stuff and everybody was so, so helpful. And That's good. I, I know if, if we wouldn't be here and we wouldn't get the support, he wouldn't be with me. Yes, now. yes. And we won't be together. It's so good. <clears throat> You're making a stuff. They're all rubbing their eyes with their tears. Everybody, thank you for everybody. I've been supported with breastfeeding and everything, like just, just like a dream. Helga, since your baby is first transitional baby in our ward and in our hospital, we'd like to present you with a gift for yourself and for baby. Okay, for baby Mark. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. So there's a wee card and the staff have all signed your card for you as well, okay? Thank you Congratulations. Very much. Oh. Thank you.